This is the view from Skycam 6 this morning of Heron High School. The walkout started at 10 a.m. as students delivered a resounding message calling for change that would make sure a school shooting never happens again. RTV6's Derek Thomas reports on the students' call to action. Students poured out of the school building so they could be in place at 10 a.m. They formed a human circle on the south lawn. 17 students stood in the middle holding photographs of the 17 people killed at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Their message is never again. We want to think about our homework, the tests we have to do, college, and I think the fact that we have to even worry about whether or not our school is going to be the next school uh, that's targeted by a gunman is just very frightening and it's really sad. If you are keeping score, one sign listed the educational institutions beginning with Columbine where mass shootings have occurred. Never again. We can write letters to Congress. We can hold events like are happening right now. We can raise money to help the families of the lives that were lost. There's, there are so many things that we can do. Main school safe! Main school safe! Students have stated their case, but will their elected representatives listen? Students across the country have come together to create one voice. I think that can't be, you know, that can't be ignored. It's too much of a movement for anyone to ignore something so large and so meaningful. And if that isn't direct enough, senior class president Eugenia King has this directive for lawmakers. I want them to address guns, not just tiptoe around it, to take it right as it's coming to them and then do with that. Know that we're here, know that what we want is what we want. Students here are becoming politically active. They will be registering eligible students to vote here on campus April 5th. Derek Thomas, RTV6.